Imagine waking up one day to find that all your personal data, financial transactions, and even national secrets are no longer secure. Sounds like a plot from a sci-fi movie, right? Well, this is not fiction, but a very real possibility that could happen in the near future. The culprit, quantum computers. Quantum computers are machines that use the principles of quantum physics to perform calculations that are impossible for conventional computers. They have the potential to unlock amazing discoveries in science, medicine, and engineering. But they also have the potential to shatter the very foundation of our digital security. Encryption. Encryption is the process of transforming data into a secret code that only authorized parties can decipher. It protects everything from our online transactions to our military communications. But encryption is not foolproof. It relies on mathematical problems that are hard to solve for conventional computers. Quantum computers, however, could solve these problems in a matter of seconds, rendering encryption useless. This is what experts call the quantum apocalypse, the moment when quantum computers break encryption and expose the internet to unprecedented risks. Welcome to the most amazing channel, where we explore wonders of the cosmos and beyond. In this video, we will unlock the secrets of quantum computers, explore the fragile nature of our digital fortress, delve into the very real possibility of an impending quantum apocalypse, and what we can do to prepare ourselves. The Internet is an integral part of our lives. We use it for everything from communication to entertainment to education. But how do we ensure that our online information is safe from prying eyes? The answer is encryption. Encryption is the process of transforming data into an unreadable form using a secret code called a key. Only those who have the key can decrypt the data and access the original information. Encryption protects our privacy and security by preventing unauthorized access to our data. While encryption is a widely used method to secure sensitive information, it is not completely infallible. One potential vulnerability lies in brute force attacks, where an attacker systematically tries every possible key until the correct one is found. However, the effectiveness of such attacks is heavily dependent on the computing power available. Conventional computers, limited to processing one bit of information at a time, face significant challenges in this regard. As a result, breaking encryption through brute force is a highly daunting and time-consuming task, making it an impractical method for most attackers. But what if there was a new type of computer that could process multiple bits of information simultaneously? Imagine such a computer that utilizes principles of quantum physics to perform calculations at an extraordinary pace. This revolutionary machine, known as a quantum computer, possesses the capability to decipher encryption in mere minutes or seconds a task that would traditionally take years or even centuries. Quantum computers are devices that use quantum bits or qubits as their basic units of information. Unlike classical bits, which can only be either 0 or 1, qubits can be both 0 and 1 at the same time. This phenomenon is called superposition. Qubits can also influence each other through a phenomenon called entanglement. These properties allow quantum computers to perform parallel computations and solve complex problems much faster than classical computers. One such problem is factoring large numbers, which is the basis of many encryption methods. For example, RSA encryption, which is widely used on the Internet, relies on the difficulty of finding two prime numbers that multiply to give a large number. However, in 1994, Mathematician Peter Shore devised an algorithm that could factor large numbers efficiently using a quantum computer. This means that Shore's algorithm could potentially break RSA encryption and expose our data to hackers. Another problem is searching through large databases, which is also related to encryption. For example, AES encryption, which is another popular method on the Internet, relies on the difficulty of finding a key that matches a given ciphertext. However, in 1996, Computer scientist Love Grover devised an algorithm that could search through large databases faster than any classical algorithm using a quantum computer. This means that Grover's algorithm could potentially break AES encryption and compromise our data. 
But how close are we to building quantum computers that can break encryption? Quantum computing is still in its infancy and faces many technical challenges such as noise, error correction, scalability, etc. However, there have been significant advances and investments in this field in recent years by governments, corporations, universities, and research institutes around the world. Some experts estimate that we could see large-scale quantum computers capable of breaking encryption within the next few years. So what can we do to protect ourselves from the quantum apocalypse? The answer is post-quantum cryptography. Post-quantum cryptography is a branch of cryptography that aims to develop encryption methods that are resistant to quantum attacks. These methods are based on mathematical problems that are hard for both classical and quantum computers to solve. Some examples of these problems are lattice-based, code-based, hash-based, etc. Post-quantum cryptography is an active area of research and standardization by organizations such as NIST, which has recently announced the first four quantum-resistant cryptographic algorithms. Another possible solution is quantum cryptography. Quantum cryptography is a branch of cryptography that uses the laws of quantum physics to secure information. Unlike post-quantum cryptography, which relies on computational hardness, quantum cryptography relies on physical principles such as superposition, entanglement, and uncertainty. These principles enable quantum cryptography to detect any eavesdropping or tampering with the data and ensure its authenticity and integrity. Some examples of quantum cryptography methods are quantum key distribution, quantum random number generation, etc. Quantum cryptography is also an active area of research and development by various entities such as Caltech, IBM, etc. The quantum apocalypse is not inevitable. We have the tools and the knowledge to prevent it and create a quantum secure internet. A quantum secure internet would not only protect our data from hackers, but also enable new possibilities and opportunities for innovation and discovery. A quantum secure internet would be faster, smarter, and safer than ever before. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. Also, don't forget to leave a comment below and share this video with your friends.